All right, so what we're going to do is just tack these bricks down. Enough to hold them. The liquid nails. And then once this is set, we'll come along with the furnace cement. Go ahead and finish the combustion chamber. This will burn away probably, that's okay. The furnace cement will do the job. It's, it's a high heat cement. It'll hold things together. This takes a few minutes. Just got to adjust it a little bit. You could arrange these however you want, but I think this is a pretty good little arrangement. Move that one over a little bit. I'm not going to I'm not going to put this one on yet because we're going to put hinges under there so that we can have a, a damper door that we can open. I'll show you how to do that. This once this sets up, it'll be firm enough that we can go ahead and really push the furnace cement in. This is furnace cement. You can get it most hardwares. All right, so we're going to put some hinges on here. Again, I'm just going to tack these on just for temporary with a little liquid nails. And there we go. And later we'll drill our damper door to be bolted into these. So that's all set. So we'll let that set up and the next step will be get all these, these spaces around here covered with furnace cement so we don't have air leaks. So we want to be able to control the airflow right here. And that's good. The next thing we're going to do Next thing we're going to do is wire this so it's not so floppy. And one thing I like to do is have my inlet and outlet roughly aligned. That way when we put our um, steel enclosure on, we can make a mouse hole on the seams right up at the top. So we're going to have our inflow here. We're going to have our probe coming out here. So if you just tweak it a little, you can get those lined up, or if you had to, you could will take about four feet. I'm using steel wire. It's going to hold up to the heat. I wouldn't use galvanized. 
copper. I wouldn't use copper. Let's see if you can find a nice steel steel wire. And we're just going to thread this through. Do a little macrame. So we'll go through here. Got a little loop. We're just gonna keep threading through. Go through this side. So you get the idea. Top of that twist off, and basically, when we get it in three spots, this will be a lot more rigid. Not that big a deal, just makes it a nicer finished product. All right, I'm, uh, this is a 20 gauge steel. I'm gonna cut out three of these. We'll use those. Doesn't matter if they're perfect. Actually, a perfect round circle isn't going to fit in there anyway because they um, they kind of have to push into that spiral coil, and they aren't going to fit in perfect. So yeah, I just. Uh, Take some snips. Cut out a circle. What this will do is it'll it'll create three baffles. And so the heat, when it hits them, will tend to move out into the coil. Create more of that turbulent flow that we want. You could probably find the right size pipe and put a plug in it. But I find this works better. So we're just going to slide these in. You can see that. We're just going to slide them in here. Like that. It'll create a plug. Alright, so I'll finish cutting those out. We'll put them in and then we'll get this one wired. This one's all, this one's all set. All right, I'm just going to take some quarter inch tubing. Remember, we want a quarter inch space around all the spiral coils. We also want a quarter inch space between the pancakes. So I'm just going to take some quarter inch copper tubing. Whatever, whatever's handy. And what we'll do, slide those, slide those between. matter how much you where you put them you're not going to really get in the way it's going to create a spacer for you you could probably get fancier but that'll work and now we're going to have we're going to have a little bit of space between this coil and the next one down okay so i'm just going to keep doing that and then we'll get this thing wired together. We'll have a nice, nice bit of space. You don't want this to act as your damper. Um, we want to be able to control the airflow here. We don't want this controlling the airflow. So we want plenty of airspace for the hot gases to come up through as fast as we need them to. If we want to control the, the fire, we want to do it here. Okay.